I actually, uh, we were leaving, leaving this place today. So we thought we'd get ourselves sorted like we do. We got a haircut and um, yes, yeah, so we went down to the best, I looked at the best barber shop in New York and it came up with Paul Moore Barbers. We went down there, it took a while, but he, he took his time with it. We had Ron and he was, um, he was a sick dude. So I'll chuck his info here, I grabbed it off him. We paid, it was fairly expensive, but it's, it's pretty good. I think you get what you pay for. And now we're off to see David and Dylan. So we're heading to David's joint in New Jersey. I think it's about a two and a half hour bus ride. Before every bus ride, you guys, you have to do one thing and it's eat bin cheesecake. It's just, well, it's a must. I was looking for this last bit of cheesecake and he's chucked it in the bin. <laughs> Dead to me. That's true. Just trying to sort our life out because all this shit everywhere. Nah, I'm dead to me. Um, we haven't even eaten yet, Joel. It's like one o'clock now. So we'll have to find something, but everything's packed. Took a while. All right, let's get that, get this, and go. So it is time for lunch, guys, and we are going to the American Nando's, and there is only one place to go for me here. You guessed it. What you guys got? Bang. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, life's um, looking pretty grim at the moment. We missed our bus to Jersey. We waited for two hours at Starbucks, got some work done, then but we got to the terminal with about 10 minutes to go, so we went to get the bus and uh, we went to the wrong one. So we tried to get on the, on the wrong bus and then it came to the right bus and the guy said, yeah, you missed it, it just left. Great, so now we are sitting here. I'm, I'm sitting here for the next hour, I think. So we, at least we got in line first. That's that's one plus. But, um, but yeah, it's not too great. We spent the whole day waiting. But what can you do? Crack a bit of monster. Upload a YouTube video. I hope my phone doesn't go flat. But now we wait. Alright guys, so this animal wakes me up at 5 this morning for hot yoga and uh, it was fucking hot. First one I've done and um, basically we had like 5 hours sleep last night as well so it was, it was a battle getting up. Were you dead? Oh, it was fucking, it was literally, it was insane. Yeah. Okay, no, we go in there, it's like, usually there's like, I don't know, four or five people, but for some reason, like, everyone knew fucking Zach was down here. So the whole <laughs> knew it. was, like, packed out with, like, 35 fucking people. We were, like, squashed between two grandmas. And, like, yeah, do it, like, signing autographs. It was just crazy. Just sweating. You know, but basically, I think it's safe to say we are Joe Rogan now. After we, we're literally, we're actually on our way to do some uh, DMT. Okay. It's actually legal. You can get it at a local grocery market here. Uh, right? We're about to be in like the eighth to ninth dimension, and uh, then we're gonna go elk hunting. And we're also gonna rip chimpanzees' faces off. Have you seen those things? They will literally rip each other's faces off. Have you tried DMT? Have you done hot yoga? <laughs> my, one of my buddies actually has done that before. Oh, <laughs> uh, what are we doing today, though? Today. Any plans? Dude, I don't know. The fucking the sun's not even out. We gotta. No. We gotta. Yeah, but you know what we could do. What? The thing is, I just recently turned 21, and you can't go out anywhere and gamble or anything like that until the age of 21. So we could. This is true. You're finally theoretically man. tonight. We could go to the casino and gamble our life savings away. <laughs> time to make like a hangover. Fucking part four. Put your Gymshark contract on the table and roulette. <laughs> Put your Gymshark contract on red. <laughs> just. <a little laughs> Pink slips, the fucking table. Yeah, we can do that. We'll see. We'll, we'll depends. We'll, we'll find out if David's still sponsored by Jim Chuck tomorrow. <laughs> we'll keep you guys posted. Diagnosing you with stage three hypertension. <laughs> you will live until you're forty, but not too much Should longer. You haven't got long that. left. You're basically dying. And why have you got a wand when you're diagnosing him as well? Is that essential? Thing is, it is essential. <laughs> I was gonna try to like maybe like help him out, lower the systolic. <laughs> no. like, like a level one wizard. I've been in Hogwarts like one or two years. I'm not no fucking Dumbledore that can just like fix his whole cardiovascular system. <laughs> Bullshit. Like, From what we saw last night, we literally got our minds blown. It was ridiculous. Like me and Joel was just literally sitting there, just thinking, what is going on? He was blowing our minds last night for like two hours of just non-stop card tricks. Just, just flat out. He's actually a legitimate wizard. Like I joke about it, but anyway. On another note, time check. It's 4:20 right now. Whoa! <laughs> and this this wizard just got out of bed. <laughs> Way to treat his guests. He takes his to, takes me to hot yoga in the morning. Completely rapes me from the inside. Not literally. And then um, goes back to bed for about six hours. So it's just not very nice. Dave, what are you cooking up? Are you actually got a cinnamon bun free workout? He already did. I won't. I'll, I'll see what else we have. What are you going? Steak? Steak and rice? And sweet potato? Well, I had some this morning. That's what that's what Joel had. I did see some oats in here that caught my eye. These look good. Are these good? Oh, no, that old banana. Oh, Is it good? They're good. Yeah, that's, they're that's what I'll be rolling. Real good. You 
you just like, uh, Done. poured into like some love as a microwave for like 30 seconds and then like that and it's just fucking just orgasm everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking tonsil is not fucking out. All the tonsils like, are gonna be freaking out from this. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you got yours removed, Joel. You're not gonna be able to taste it. I know. Yeah, yeah. Denzel looks at the creepiest bloke out here. That's actually <laughs> out there. Is this actually a serial killer? If you saw this bloke picking up arrows with a bow in his hand. I think I treated a white. Softer one, it would have probably just caused like regular <laughs> non-fatal damage, but uh, unfortunately it. Um, but that went straight through. Yeah, and the next thing you know, we're six feet under, so. Just... And that's why there's no cats or kids in the neighborhood. All right, show us the damage you can do. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do now is Joel's gonna apocalypto it, and he's gonna run as far <laughs> this way as he can. And if he gets to the end of that house, he gets his freedom, and he doesn't have to train arms today. Wow. Meanwhile, David the wizard is gonna hunt him down with the bows. I literally just realized, like, if I pull this back all the way, this is the longest arrow with this, like, sharp head. Yeah. And I, like, pull it back and I, like, release it, like, it will literally go through your fucking chest. Would yeah. it? Like, it would literally. Ah, uh, Joel. So if you want the biggest adrenaline rush of your life, <laughs> you just go out there and head Go run. Shin Alkami. Think of the freedom. Oh, the moment, nah. Joel. I said it was so upside. <laughs> Living the fucking moment. Go for a run. Perfect. <laughs> Whoever hits the apple can command the loser to do any fucking violent, unethical drop set of their choice. Okay. <laughs> what you got? This is what you get, David, for making me get up this morning at 5 a.m. One of your childs. Oh, that's gonna, definitely gonna fall, but I'm gonna try to do this first. All right, guys, so gym time, and we've got a few stops. Ugh. First oh, stop is coffee, eyes. second stop is Southern Shop. Rock bottom, Mr. James. His old mate at the Southern Shop. So we'll hit that up, and then gym. Coffee, sub shop, gym. Dave, which one do we get? I like the splash of Colombian, a splash of Cuban roast, I like some dark roast, and then maybe just you know, a little bit of regular to kind of splash it off. And I'm just gonna splash in a few ice cubes and call it a day. Let's go, let's go decaf. Chilled workout today. <coughs> I'm gonna get some sweetener in this bitch. Yeah. This is actually a decent setup there, but I'm impressed. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys have seen Interstellar, but David's got the mix from Interstellar <laughs> in the car right now, baby. Murph, David, Come back to gym, Murph. As he throws a pretty pumped <laughs> workout song. This is Matthew McConaughey, hits of uh, 2017. Interstellar pre-workout vibes. <laughs> Brought to you by Matthew McConaughey and Dave, DJ David Lane. Mixed up behind him, my boyfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> Big shout out. So, stop two, rock bottom. This is when you know you've hit an all time low, is it when you're shopping at rock bottom supplements? This is my Australian. Oh, we met Zach. That's me, young. Hey, how are you doing today? James. The infamous rock bottom. <laughs> I want you to tell me what differentiates rock bottom from your typical traditional commercial, maybe GMC or GNC's, vitamin shops, things like that. What is it about rock bottom that has that magical spark in everyone's hearts and everyone's endocrine systems? Well, it turns out that 10% of all our products, 10% of each of the content of each product, has been spiked with ambrosia, the actual food of the gods. <laughs> oh, are you serious? It's like the only place on the planet where that happens because it's naturally occurring in the atmosphere within 100 meters of this one area. Okay. That sounds very Super reasonable. Human. Literally, he put on 40 pounds just by having like, you, like two sips like in four days. <laughs> you did thick it out. Your just from the ambrosia. <laughs> What have you done? I got James swindled again. I came in there with a bunch of securities and I left with a bunch of supplements. I got some DLPA. I got this new pre-workout that I'm just gonna kind of experiment. It's got a bit of DMA in it, I believe. It's DMMA and like, it's got a fuck ton of citrulline, aguantine, the arginine, so I feel like this is just gonna be a good, nice, pumpy <laughs> thing that I'm gonna use. Maybe for maxing here and there, then it's gonna transition to like, all the way, like using it just to get up in the morning and yeah, just full blown relapse, so. Basically, that's what you want, guys. Literally, there, Dave went full junkie mode in there. He literally just goes, he's like, all right, scratching his hand, he's like, what can you give me to get through the day? <laughs> and he comes out with a, with a bunch of shit here. So if we don't have a good workout tonight, I, I don't know, I'm, we may as well give up gym. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean like literally, yeah. You've loaded up <laughs> that much shit. We, we have to get a good workout. It's it's we're science. Just, we're just gonna start a, like a slam and salmon fan club if we don't fucking feel good today. We're yes, gonna just, There's just no point. Side note, guys, whoever's seen Slam and Salmon, put in the comments because evidently me, David, and Joel, the only people who've actually seen it, and think it's a hilarious movie. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I don't know. So hopefully there's some more salmons out there. Let us know. <laughs> uh, gym time. Hi, Abdul. Hi, guys. Look who decided to join us. Big deal is in the I building. Came. I actually shut up. I'm always late. Sorry, man. Shut up. We have been Sorry. waiting a while, but uh, I think it's actually been an hour since we got here. But we talk shit in a sub shop. Wait, day. did you guys? You went to yoga this morning. How'd you like that? Oh, it was actually the hardest thing ever. I understand why you only did once. Bro, listen, right? I went one time to yoga. Right? I went with Dave. I sat. I was right under the heater. Yeah. It was 95 degrees outside. <laughs> the teacher had to come up to me and ask me if I needed to leave the room. That's how bad it was. Yeah. Dude, oh, it was disgusting. I'm never going back. Yeah, I said. I said to Dave, I'm like, oh, is Dildo with you? He goes, he's done it once. I I never back since, yeah. Yeah. Which I, I understand. Yeah. That was brutal. So starting off with uh, I think we can do alternating dumbo curl and some extensions. So it should be fun. So we are warming up here with an upset, so start with lightweight and then slowly get heavier each set with no rest. Great way to warm up. So post-workout shopping, we got the goods in here. I'm gonna do a bit of meal prep as well because I'm enjoying actually, this is like the first time I cook food because your place in this whole time and it feels it feels great. So um, doing a bit of that. What do you got Dave? I got some oranges and I'm gonna eat them at my house with some avocados and some Do you want any more avocados? Yeah, I just need a little bit more avocados so me and my friends can eat them in the basement. Why are you gonna put her voice on? Is this Dill's? Stuff. JC, he's really, he's really not going hard. And and oh, that's the better part. Yeah, you need to add the whistle to it. Fish. It's like a bit of a scene in Matthew McConaughey, isn't it? Can you fucking hello? I need to fucking see this. Like Please? Zach, in case you guys didn't fucking know, he can literally impersonate anyone's voice. Not not anyone's. It's like I can only do certain nice. ones. Oh, I did a good smeagol before. Hang on. Oh, you you he fucking nailed. What? No. Doing the sharp <laughs> When they took the chicken breasts. No. Bison. Bison. That's what goes through Dave's head. Chicken or bison. That's scary good. Yeah, sometimes if someone has like a voice that's very unique. <laughs> I can do it. Do Joe Rogan for Dylan. <laughs> okay, no. Nah, I, I forget what he says, but basically it's anything like, um, no matter what you say, like, oi, what, what's that? Yes, potatoes. What are these? Potatoes? Have you tried DMT? <laughs> <laughs> what about that? What's what's in there? There's a pineapple. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, fascinating. <laughs> Have you seen those chimpanzees though? Dude, this they is actually savage. Freaking... <laughs> just... They all went through face. <laughs> this is freaking me out, dude. Is this that's, Joe Rogan? That's that's Rogan. Rogan. <laughs> I can't give his voice, but I know I know he's mad no, at yeah. like the, what he says. That's good though, dude. But oh. if someone has like a, that is anything that's different, you can pick up on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. I need something to season these bad boys with, and then I'm good to go. So back at Dave's now, we've got all our shopping ready to go, I'm gonna start cooking. And Joel's just unleashed his dinner, look at this. So what have we got Joel? Applebee's Some for one. Some sort of pasta that the dude said was awesome. <laughs> yeah. 
That burger that the dude said was awesome. <laughs> you just asked him what was good? Yeah, and then I said, what's the best dessert? And he goes, this one. I went, yeah. Triple chalk meltdown. Is that what it is? Yep. I gotta get a look at this. Oh, it's got ice cream as well. Oh my Dear God. God. Oh. That is insane. Is it wrong to eat this before? No, nah, I, I don't think so. How is it? Heaven or sick? Oh, yeah. Heaven? Heaven or sick? Heaven? Mm. Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Heaven, heaven, heaven. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to uh, steal some of that uh, chicken. No. You don't have to eat that broccoli. Fuck, you got to eat this. Even the chicken's good. What is on the chicken? Is that a sausage? Yeah. Or a breadstick? Ah, oh, it's a breadstick. So I'm eating your protein. I'm no. severely jealous. Do you guys have like a MacBook charger like on hand? Say goodnight, David. What's that? Say goodnight. Zach, you have a very, very early time Tell to wake up tomorrow and you're gonna be very, very tired. You're gonna have a very busy flight. I wish you the most euphoric and just drowsy, deepest night of sleep. And I hope you, I hope you have great dreams too. I don't wanna be responsible for you having nightmares in my house, so I just wish you the best. I got a fresh cut in the denim, all these sexy jeans in my section. Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM, then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying.